Hey there, it's Rafi from Cooper's Virtual Cooking Club. Before we get started with the recipe, I just want to let you all know that now that we're in the month of May, Yachad New York is starting an awesome initiative called Yachad Moves in May. So, with our cooking club, we're going to try and focus on some more healthy recipes. And also, I encourage you to always incorporate fruit, vegetables, and whole grains in any of the recipes that you're making. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about that, please let me know. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video and stay well. Hey everyone, welcome to another week of Cooper's Virtual Cooking Club. This week we're going to be making really easy, really delicious schnitzel. Okay, so my ingredients are as follows. So I have some pieces of schnitzel right here, raw chicken, nice and flat pieces. If you're going to a butcher, those can be called usually cutlets flat or flat cutlets or chicken for schnitzel, who knows. And then I have an egg over here, I just beat one egg. Um, if you're making more than the amount of pieces that I'm making, I'm probably making about like five pieces. If you're making more than that, let's say you're making ten, so then you should use two eggs, so that this way you have enough to bread everything. And then, I have my breadcrumbs right here on a plate, ready to be uh, breaded. Um, if you're using breadcrumbs that don't have any seasonings in it, this one does. If you're using any breadcrumbs that don't have seasoning in it, make sure you're seasoning your chicken. Otherwise, it's not going to taste so good. Also, I have a baking sheet right here with parchment paper and oil because this is going to be baked. So you should be preheating your oven to 350 degrees at least, maybe even a little bit hotter if you want it to cook faster. Also, I have a meat thermometer. This is different this week than usual. Usually, I don't have a meat thermometer. But since we're cooking raw poultry, you should have a meat thermometer to make sure that it gets to at least 165 before you take it out of the oven because foodborne illnesses are really serious when it comes to poultry especially and in this time like we really want to make sure we're staying healthy so make sure you have one of those okay so first step now that your chicken is flat in pieces um, you're gonna use the egg wash you're gonna get a little bit of egg on it you really don't need so much and then you're gonna use using your gloves very important bread it and then you're gonna transfer that over to the baking sheet okay so it's pretty, it's only a two-step process. Some people like to put flour on it first. I, I don't just because we're baking it, but if you were frying it, it might be better with flour. But since we're baking it, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so you're gonna put, I like to put like two pieces at a time. Using your gloves, just put that on, pat it down nice and soft, and then shake off anything that's fallen off, and just transfer that to your parchment paper, okay? And you're going to repeat this step for all your pieces of, sh of schnitzel, okay? All right, ready to go in the oven. Hey everyone, so our schnitzel's done. This is what it looks like. You see, it looks delicious almost as much as it smells delicious. So it was in the oven for about 20 minutes and I took it out, stuck the meat probe in there to make sure that it was fully cooked. Uh, food safety is a huge thing and make sure you're always practicing good food safety, whether that's wearing gloves, washing your hands regularly, making sure that your meat, poultry, and fish are cooked fully. Uh, so I'll see you all soon. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please let me know what you thought of it and uh, have a great rest of your week. Bye